of the boys are just walking around. There's our truck over there. But I just parked got my toy hauler over there. The forerunner and the van over there. So when we come up here we get the forerunner to do trails, the van to camp somewhere nearby with a kind of cool setup. And then the toy hauler when we want a little bit more space to sleep and then also if uh i have someone come who has kids or my mom or someone a little bit older that needs a better bed um they can sleep in there it's got a queen size bed and then a twin well full full and then um i would just sleep in my cargo van or in my truck because i have the queen bed in my truck as well so we were just walking back. Stark was kicking up dirt. <laughs> well, we got some dirt. And this is all ours right here. Pretty nice. Oh, we'll smell something. Oh, he's beating on it. So these are holes for, for a lot of like, mice. <clears throat> I gotta figure out how I'm gonna deal with the mice. Oh shoot. I left the cactus there. Shoot. I was running over that. I thought I got all of them. What is this, Striker? Kicking up dust? Kick the dust up. Luke Bryan. How you doing, Bobbles? Yeah, sunset. Pretty nice. There's the moon up there. Just chilling. Speaking of chilling, it's getting cold. So I was going to get back. Hoping to get back by 8. But it is... Almost 6. I won't make it back. So... I need to return the dolly, which is what I've been using to bring the vehicles up. So I used the Tundra to bring the toy hauler up, then drove the Tundra back, left the Tundra at home in the valley, got the cargo van, loaded up the Forerunner on the back of it, drove those down with the dolly, the uh, car do auto car dolly. And then, um, tell you where. Okay. And drove those, the van and the Forerunner here. Dropped off the van. Hooked up the, uh, dolly to the Forerunner. Drove it back to the valley. Loaded the dolly back on the, on the Tundra. Which you can see it right there. And then put the Forerunner back. And then just now dropped off the Forerunner. So next I have two more trailers to bring down. And then I'm... In the process of trying to find, oh yeah, these are the rocks I uh, <laughs> I go over and actually drug it. Uh, I should probably, I don't know if I want these here anymore. It kind of keeps some people out because they're pretty good sized rocks. <sighs> but, um, so yeah, I got two uh. Overlanding trailers. We got the military jeep one, and then the one I call a fire truck. I have that one. Um, one of them I'm gonna keep in the valley at all times, so when I need to bring stuff up, I can. Or I will have the uh, um, flatbed, which I'm gonna be getting a flatbed soon. A flatbed, and then I want to get a cargo, but flatbed first. But, um, but, um, so once I get the flatbed, bring up more stuff. And I'm thinking if I get the flatbed soon enough, I would be able to bring a trailer here on the back of the flatbed trailer, the small trailer because they're small. You know, um, military one's six foot, the other one's four feet of storage that, that you can put stuff on. 
but with the hitch and everything, it's, it's a little bit longer. But anyways, the military ones, um, decent amount longer. I believe, actually, I'm not sure about that. I would have to actually look into that. So, yeah, we're not going to make it back in time. So, I got a friend that wants to hang out, have a barbecue. Or not barbecue, but a um, fire pit. You guys want to go for a ride? You want to go for a ride? <laughs> yeah? Okay. So we're going to have a fire pit with my buddy. Let's see where we're going to turn. I'm back in it. I guess I could pull here and back in there. This dolly is a, close to impossible to back up. Actually, you can't really back up when you have a vehicle in there. It just... Whoo! It is finicky, the most finicky thing ever. And actually, so I was in a rush to get this thing, and I didn't even look at it. But caution, do not back up. <laughs> so, and they didn't tell me how to operate any of this stuff. I just kind of just did it myself. So, learn how to do it myself. When well, he said you want to go for a ride. I guess Striker doesn't want to go for a ride. Does Striker want to go for a ride? Bravo. Do you want to go for a ride? Go for a ride? Go for a ride? Who wants to go for a ride? Look at that happy tail. You're going to fly away. All right. All right, ups. Ups. Um, what's up? Do you want to go for a ride or no? All right, ups. <laughs> Look on Bravo's like, are we supposed to? Because sometimes I load stuff in and he jumps up and I'm like, Bravo, get out. Trying to load stuff. Ooh, that's a big rock. That's one of these. All right, so I think we'll pull through here and then back up. All right, cool. All right, oh, we're going to end this. Ooh, look at that. Look at that color over there. Oh, you can't see very well. Kind of. Right. Right there. Right up there. That's our focus. Is. There we go. Wow. That's cool. So is that. A lot of it is. All right. We're going to get going. Say hi. Say bye. Say peace out. Peace out. Eight down. Tell them. Bravo. Bravo, tell them. What? Bravo, what? Bravo, what? Okay. You guys are tired, huh? I'm tired too. Oh. Forget to turn my back while I'm off. Alright, guys. Well, take care. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this.